Hey, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing and installing this ASPL strobe light for my roof. Uh, this is on a 2022 Chevy Silverado 2500. Um, this is an amber light. They also make this in amber and white. Uh, this is $85.99, and I did a lot of research on a bunch of different lights. This one had really great reviews. Um, one of the reasons I got this particular light was it has four suction cup magnet mounts on the bottom, and a lot of the other ones only have two, and I want this to be up there as strong as possible. So um, we're just going to unbox this thing and toss it up there and show you how to wire it in, and then we'll go through the flash patterns and all that. All right, just got a warranty here. It's got a two year warranty. It says, please ensure the mounting surface can be attracted by magnets. Uh, so it doesn't work on aluminum body vehicles. Uh, make sure the surface is clean before installation, which I've already done. Waterproof level of the light is IP67. All right, let's see what we got here. Just a plug. This plugs into a normal 12 volt, used to be called cigarette lighter. I don't know what they call these anymore, just 12 volt outlet. So one of them is going to be the power button and the other one will be the button to change the strobe patterns. I forget how long this cable was, but I will put it on the screen right now. Pulling it out of the bag, as you can see here, it's got four suction cup magnets. Um, this is nice, keeps the, you know, they're covered in rubber so the magnets won't scratch the paint. So if you did want to take it off later down the road. Other than that, there's no instructions that come with it other than that little bit right there. So I don't know if there's a front or a back. Nothing is leading me to believe that it goes one way or the other. All right, let's go up top of the truck and we'll put it up there. So as you can see, there's a flat spot right here. This is where I'm gonna be putting it kind of as far back as I can before I hit these. I don't want it too far forwards because I want it to be able to be seen from the back as well, although I don't think that really is gonna matter. But um, I'm basically just gonna put it right around here. The hard part is gonna be getting it lined up in the center from where I'm at, because I'm on a six foot ladder. It's hard for me to actually reach over there all the way. So I'm gonna do the best I can and I'm gonna, make the cable come out between the legs off the side here because we're going to run it down through the side door. So, actually I can line it up with those grooves pretty well right there. Wow, and that sucked right down, that magnet right on really good. So, actually can't pull it back off again. So that's really strong once it's on there. <laughs> All right. So I guess that's it. Now we're going to Run the wire. All right, so all I'm gonna do here is let this dangle on the roof and we're gonna come down into the crack of the door right here. Um, that's the way my last one was installed on my last truck that I had professionally installed at the dealer and I figured I could just do this myself. Uh, I should also say my last uh, light that I got from the dealer was like 300 and something dollars installed. So this is 86 bucks. I could have this one die in two years and replace it and then replace it another time and a third time and I'd still be cheaper than buying it from the dealer. So uh, we're going to see. We're going to see if this one actually works uh, long term or not. I won't know for, you know, years obviously. All right, so I'm just going to tuck it right in here like that and we just got to figure out where I want to route it. So um, he had it somewhere in this weather strip here so it came in like that and then ran down the inside. Um, see if I can figure out how to get into this weather strip. Oh yeah, it looks like I can just pull it out like that. And we'll be able to run it in there. So I'm going to need my both my hands to do that. So let's see if I can do this. Alrighty, so I'm going to want a little bit of slack here so that that will uh, kind of form to the door. And what happened basically over time was that it just kind of like formed that door and it never was ever an issue. Eventually, after a few years, this uh, coating wore through and you could see you couldn't see the the bare wire but you could see the coating of the wire inside so 
course my light is going to go out. Everything's dying. So we'll just see how this works here. All right, so it's in there. Um, I just want to check to see how the door actually physically closes on this to see if it's going to be an issue being in there or not. Okay, so that's not a problem at all. As you can see, the wire comes in here and it's tucked right behind that piece all the way down in here and then pops out there. So now I just got to get it across and over to a plug either in my center console or um, there's one right here. So I could just leave it dangling and then plug it in here, which for the time being, maybe we'll do that just so we can test it out. So as you can see, it's on and that's off. So let's throw it on. We'll go check out the functions outside and I'll figure out how I'm gonna do this later. You guys don't need to see that. All right, I'm gonna hop in the truck and just run through the flash pattern so you can see them all real quick. All right, so there we go. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up down below and get ready for more plowing videos this winter and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more truck and plow and tool and other stuff videos that I do. And if you do subscribe, make sure you click the notification bell right next to the subscribe button. That way you can be notified when I release new videos. And let me know in the comments what you think about this light. Is it worth $85 instead of spending hundreds of dollars? Uh, we're gonna find out. Also, let me know if you have one of these ASPL lights and it's broken in a short period of time, just so I can be prepared for that. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.